Good afternoon. Welcome back. This is Simon Adim. If you haven't met me before, I'm a nurse from Southeast England. In today's video, we are going to talk about staff crisis. Uh, NHS is getting tough and tough to work with. And uh, I'm going to tell you all about what's happening nowadays in the NHS uh, in terms of staffing levels and how we are struggling. This is all we are going to talk about in this video. If you haven't met me before, I'm a nurse. I work here in the UK. It's been three years, more than three, three and a half years, I think, since I'm here. And um, uh, if you have any questions about getting to the UK and how you can get your NMC pin or how to pass OSCE, how to pass CBT and quest, things like that, you can always comment in the comment section or you can uh, leave an email for me and I'll make sure I'll try my best to reply you okay thank you so much for watching guys let's dive into the video without any further delay so we as nurses we work in the hospital we work for the patients um, we work um, to look after sick patients isn't it and our aim should be to provide care uh, no matter which department you are working, no matter which ward you are working, whether you're working in the ICU, in ED, or any other uh, department you're working in, our aim is to look after sick patients. So what's happening uh, nowadays is when we go to work, uh, it happens almost all over the world, I think, in all over the hospitals. Uh, if the if ward, one ward is struggling with the staff numbers, uh, staff, if someone calls in sick or if someone has any emergency at home that they can't come to work, um, I think it's all over the world that we have to move like sometimes to the other wards. Uh, one member of the staff or two members of the staff, uh, we need to send them to the other wards to help them if they are struggling, if uh, some of their friends, uh, the staff members called in sick or they have any emergency so as nurses or as senior management team it's our aim to make sure that staffing level is educated in all the other departments uh, for example we look after uh, medicine or respiratory or uh, cardiac or gastric all those departments which comes under your um, senior management team so their aim would be to supply enough nurses to supply enough healthcare support workers to look after those patients who are in that department in the, in those uh, departments right so if i have to if i have four nurses in my department and i have 30 patients and the neighboring department department has 40 patients and they are struggling of their with their staff like they have only two nurses so if I can manage with three I will send one of my nurse to go and help that department and we uh, if we ask you to move or if we ask a nurse to move I think there shouldn't be any problem uh, to go around and to work with the other department because as, um, the fact is you are a nurse and you can look after the patients isn't it and at the end of the day you are not hired by the department you are hired by the NHS and uh, as NHS um, it's our duty it's our job to go around and make sure our patients are safe uh, safe wherever you are working right this is um, uh, this is a problem uh, nowadays like it's happening a lot uh, I remember when I came in here in 2020 it wasn't that much that uh, like not a lot of moves with the staff staffing around so now currently because of the lack of the staff members or because of the shortage of the staff members now what happens is the uh, bank uh, some people um, so if you don't know what bank is bank shifts so me I'm a permanent nurse of the, hired by the trust, so this is my job. If I do part-time job um, in my hospital, um, apart from my um, required working hours, for example, if I work here for 37.5 hours and sometimes if I have time, I will do part-time job in my trust, in my um, uh, organization and um, that is called bank partners. Some people call it um, 
bank some people call it part-time job so that is bank if i say bank if you're working bank that that what it means so that's temporary job part-time job okay so uh, because of uh, uh, budget and finance i think uh, we are not getting a lot of people a lot of bank people like we have our own permanent staff but um, our own trust staff but not the bank partners people so uh, it used to be like that like if for example if someone called in sick it'll be very, it was very easy to get someone from the bank or tell them okay we've got a vacancy in the bank can you send someone or it was so much easier to tell the matrons or to tell the managers that can we get somebody from the bank please because uh, this person called in sick and we can't manage with the three nurses or we can't manage with the four nurses whereas now it's it's getting too much difficult so if we need a, a person from the bank we need a approval from this and that so uh, my point to say is bank staff is not available nowadays bank shifts are not available so for the people who were working permanent jobs who were on permanent jobs who were working full time their jobs are secured but for the people who are who were um, doing bank shifts only or who were working part-time jobs only it is hard for them to find bank duties now and uh, same uh, for us like uh, you know, most of the times a lot of people they do bank duties just to get some extra money just to cover uh, cover up the costs of uh, their bills and finance uh, bills and mortgages and everything so uh, it's not for the part-time people only even the trust staff even the permanent post holders sometimes they do bank as well just to cover up the cost so it's a bit difficult now if you don't have a permanent job it's going to be hard for you to find the uh, bank partner's job uh, or it's going to be hard for you to do a bank or to earn some extra money because of the shortage or in the bank duties there are no bank duties at all every time you check in the app there are no duties available so nhs is going through uh, i think financial crisis i don't know <laughs> i'm just giving my opinion i don't know so yeah so it's getting hard nowadays guys and uh, I, i've seen a lot of people who are here in the uk and still looking for the jobs and they can't find the jobs waiting for the interviews or some of them have had the interviews but still they are not getting the offer letter so it's a bit difficult situation at the moment we are still waiting for uh, there are so many immigration changes have been happening uh, nowadays and we are we are still expecting some changes because nothing um, uh, there is no uh, uh, there is no thing for sure at the moment so be uh, please uh, be prepared uh, if you are thinking to move uh, to the uk there will be there is still hope there will be time for you there uh, maybe god has your has a protected time for you to come here in the uk so please be hopeful and um, if you are preparing for your exam keep doing them and if you want to go somewhere else it's up to you totally but i i believe positions will become available vacancies will become available but we don't know when <laughs> let's keep the fingers crossed and hope for the best yeah so i was talking about the staffing level um uh, if we have if we are short of staff and we have to do lots of movements around in the hospital uh, moving the staff uh, from one ward to the other uh, from the other ward to the other ward so it, it can be hard for the staff member as well to tell them okay saima you are going to uh, the other ward today uh, actually uh, they have they are short of staff and then uh, saima is not happy to go saima will say oh i'm sorry i was moving yesterday can you please move somebody else and then they check in the book uh, because we have a rotational book we write there our names there to see when i was moved last time and um, okay they checked uh, so i was the last person who moved are you happy to go saima yeah no problem i'll go ahead yeah but some people they can be quite arrogant they can be quite rude as well in responding no i'm not willing to go so then <laughs> it gets difficult a little bit but 
yeah as uh, as we are staff hired by the nhs we shouldn't be saying no but um think it positively think it uh think it uh, in a wisely way like uh if um there are no there is no nurse in the other department how the patient's going to survive how the patients are going to get their med medicines or uh have their wash and have their um uh, treatment done so you are very important part of the nhs but um uh, sometimes uh, things can get difficult for you as well so take some time out for yourself and if you have any concerns you can always speak to your seniors about it yeah so still uh, there are no hiring i know nhs is crying out for the uh, staff uh, nurses for the healthcare support workers it's never it's never complete the number of um, staff is never uh, full um, because of the maternity leaves because of the sick leaves because of any other sort of emergency leaves so um, yeah always because the uh, nhs is full of patients most of the times most of the times there are 28 ambulances waiting, waiting outside 30 ambulances waiting outside of 40 sometimes so um, we need to think about it how we going to um, uh, how we going to do it in our in a professional way how we going to uh, work in a professional way because things are ha hard uh, for the people who are working here in the nhs and who are not working obviously if you are preparing for your exams and waiting for the interview or waiting for the call back from the employers yeah i do understand but that's why i wasn't making any video uh, so videos because um, it, it can be difficult because we moved house recently and um, I've got a baby and I have to uh, I was on vacation for a month and then now I'm back to work so it was a bit of difficult time for me so yeah uh, things can get hard sometimes when you live uh, alone uh, i mean uh, if you uh, live away from your family things can get hard so please bear with me <laughs> so that's all i just wanted to give you an update what, what's happening at the moment uh, but um, i wish you all the best if you are preparing for your exams please keep doing them if you are preparing for english test you can continue um, and uh, things will get bet better hopefully and there there will be visa sponsors sponsorships available very very soon i believe so i uh, i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye